People think I'm the ice man. That's because I did a lot of world records in the extremes of the cold. In the, beyond the polar circle running without shoes, marathons, or going up Mount Everest to the death zone, or swimming under the ice, or staying in the extreme cold of the ice so long. But actually, I'm not the ice man. I just bring the warmth of the heart. I'm a family papa, and I take care of my children and also your children. That's love. That's Wim Hof. I have always been a thinker, a philosopher, going into traditions, languages, cultures, esoteric disciplines, or religions, all kinds of things, to find out what is there, what drives us, who are we for real? Because the people think disease, pollution, uh, wars, cruelty, abuse, uh, that is all a depression, darkness, that is all normal. I think it is sick. The first time I went into the cold water, I had the epiphany. I had the words, this is it, without the words. That feeling comes to you. It's so powerful, it goes past the chatterbox, the thinking brain. That was my first moment when I was 17 years old. And the cold water turned me to fulfill my question. Who are we? What are we? It brought me in connection with my deeper physiology, with my deeper being. <gasps> the cold is merciless, but righteous. It brings you and makes you who you are, where you should be, right here in the moment. And that's where my journey began. First time I did a world record under the ice swimming, I lost it. I had no goggles on. I froze my retina, my the cornea. I lost it. I lost the hole. I was swimming. <gasps> I did not feel agony of drowning. I did not feel claustrophobia. I had no fear. I had this deep, deep control. I did twice the world uh, distance, the world record distance under the ice. Somebody took me, finally, a diver, back to the hole. And first thing when I came up, <gasps> there I overcame the fear and the concept of death. Came in as a flash. I reconnected with my soul right there. Those are the life's lessons. If you stay back of your fear, intimidated by your fear, you will never make the step to embrace your soul and give space to fear. <gasps> when you expose yourself to the cold, you automatically go and breathe you feed your body all your body and then all your body enters the life force and then you become strong that's what you need when you go into the cold that's what the cold has been teaching to me breathe deep the cold is a doorway it opens you up to the deeper self and with that, you get control over the breathing. And with that, you bridge into the mind. And then suddenly the mind is able neurologically to expand. And then you will be a child forever. Exciting forever. Never a boring moment.
What we do with the breathing exercises is cleansing our bodies. The biochemistry by which the soul, the light, the nervous system, in the depth is able to shine, to be radiant. And let me tell you more. I got the signs done with neuroscientific evidence that we are able to bring the corona radiata, which is the radiant crown, which is the crown chakra. They talk all about it in the yoga esoteric and all. You can make that happen within well, a half hour. We think too much. Don't think about presence. Be the presence. And go into your destiny. Go into your mission. You are here with a mission. Once you are driven and aligned with that mission of you, everybody has one, then you find, then you are uninhibited within your being. Then presence flows all the time, eternally, and you become conscious of it. And little by little, doing this method, this breathing exercises, and the cold, it will make the bridge happen to your full consciousness of who you are and what you are. I did my world records because I could manipulate my breath. I could manipulate the life force, control the life force. And I could heal myself. I was never sick. This is what I have learned. And now I'm here to share. To share something everybody has. To share something which is most valuable. The control over the deep physiology by which you are able to control your happiness, your strength, and your health. No doubt. I got all the signs done. Now we come with the sense and we bring peace to every person. A happy man doesn't go to war. A happy man is not into possession. He is unconditionally there. That is my message. That's my mission. That's my work. And any time I have to think about things to make that better, I will do. I'm a big chatterbox. But I can stop it any time. Because I am the master of my mind. I'm the captain of my soul. Mm -hmm.